Okay, here's a teacher's notes video for uh, the second uh, ep class in this prerequisite series. Uh, I will tell you in review, I think this one was a bit too long. If you were sitting a, cl uh, a student down for the entire thing, I think it was a little a half hour video. If I was doing this in front of a class, I would break up each little section up in a little segment and then give them a quick assignment, a research assignment that they could do on the internet or on their iPad or, or phone or something like that to do some lookup for maybe a tool they selected at the beginning of the class. And you're using your lecture on chisels as an example of the kind of information they would want to do, a prompt for where their mind could go. Do not give them, hey, I want you to search for dimensioning or, or metallurgy or something like that. Give them ideas and let them bring that search for you. Now, if you're doing this live, I would encourage you to have a nice selection of tools available for them if you can. If not, at least just have one for them to hold, to pass around. The only thing I would do is put some blue tape around the edge right there so nobody accidentally hurts themselves especially on socket chisels because they will be popping off left and right it's just the nature of that tool but having you know this oh i could see yeah that's weird something i didn't mention about balance this is very tail heavy it just kind of feels odd where my you know pmv it's a the center of the gravity, you know, is a little bit farther forward, so it has a little bit more bounce feel. It just feels better in your hand, and it's something people can feel, especially new woodworkers if you're giving them several different versions. But I know that getting a set like this is not practical for most people. But having one that they can feel would be a very good idea. And finally, uh, this is something that once you get going, I would suggest you question the students about the tools they select for their assignment. Don't tell them. For example, the draw knife. I wouldn't mention, hey, I wouldn't tell them, hey, the angle of the handles to the blade would affect using stuff like that. I would say, how do you, how do you think you use that tool? Well, and they, they sing pictures. Okay. Yeah. Oh. You think your wrist angle is important? And leave them on to things like ergonomics and stuff like that. Ask them leading questions. Don't give them the answer. Because the whole idea of this exercise is to get them to think about questions to ask themselves to determine whether a purchase is good or not. And most times a teacher is not there to give them the answer in those real life situations. Again, this lecture was long and it was a lecture without a lot of kinetic Ex, uh, exercises in the middle of it to break it up so you have to plan around that one but that's a kind of the environment I'm in being a glorified textbook so hopefully you're able to feed off your students a little bit more than I was here in this lecture have fun be safe and teach somebody <laughs>